Hey guys, it's me, Jersey. I thought today I'd talk about what I actually live in and tow it with. Um, I tow my trailer. It's a 2006 um, H3 Hummer. It has 179,000 miles on it. And I tow and live in full-time a 2019 CarMate 6x12 cargo trailer that my son and my daughter and I converted into a tiny home. Oh, there's my dog, Elliot. Hi, buddy. Um, he'll be 14 in August. He's a rat terrier. And where's Violet? This is my little girl, Violet. She's blind and deaf and can't smell. She's a hot mess, but we love her. Excuse the dirt. Um, I've been in the desert since January, and now I'm in Colorado desert. Oh, my cat Gideon, he's up here in the window. He's four and a half. This is basically all he's known. I'm sorry about the bird poop. This is one of the windows we put in. I use shed windows from Amazon. They're easy to put in. The hardest part is to make that initial cut in your trailer. I have the barn style back doors, which I wanted the ramp so bad, but I'm so glad I went with these because I can actually open them on the bottom and get a little bit of air and I can clip it up top so no one can get in because I can still lock the bar. And even here, I can put my extension cord when I have shore power, which I'm at my son's house right now, I just had knee surgery. I can run my extension cord around there and I'm able to not hook the door latch in that, but I can hook the door latch up on that one. So the bottom stays opened a little bit. I did it this winter when I was here for the holidays and I just shoved foam up underneath the door to keep the breeze out. And I have the magnetic screen, which I absolutely love. And some curtains up there and I put another window on this side my daughter and I did that one in Thanksgiving and down in Texas at my friend's house I'm eventually gonna put another window here to put an AC unit in and I was thinking about which I've always wanted to do put a fake wall right here and put a big window in instead of putting it in the door that way I can shut the door and nobody can see the air conditioner or you know push it out to get in or anything all right, let's go inside. I use this Walmart mural on the doors. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit hard to get on and it still has some bumpiness. I have another magnetic screen here, which I actually put magnets on the bottom to help keep my cat in. And I also have the baby gate, which I put on hinges, which works great. I don't know why I never thought of this when I had children. You just pick it up and Swing it out of the way. This is my kitchen area. Oh, I'm stuck on the rug here. I got these cabinets from Lowe's for $50 a piece. And all I did was screw them in through the wallboard, which is wainscoting, insulation, and into the plywood. I've been about 8,000 miles since I put this build together. And nothing has come loose. I have a, propane, a butane stove, which I actually love. I went with this because it's so much lighter than a propane one. And since I tow it with my Hummer, I can only tow 3,000 pounds, I think. So I have to watch whatever weight I have. And this is my Berkey. This is a must-have if you're out on the road. I don't know if you, people know what a Berkey is. It's a water filtration system. They're expensive, but it's well worth the money. You pour your water in the top. And it goes through these two charcoal filters, which are about $100 a piece, but they last about five years. And then it filters down through them, through those little things, into this bottom reservoir. And then you have a spout here, and it filters about 99.9% .9 of parasites, bacteria, germs, you name it. You can drink nasty creek water, and you'll be fine. These bottom cabinets here, they're actually upper cabinets for a kitchen. They're narrow, but I got them free off the marketplace and they work just fine. And the countertop was pre-made from Lowe's. Um, I put this one in and then I went and bought this one and didn't realize it for like two months that this one was so much shorter or not as wide as this one. So eventually I'll switch this out. Oh, excuse my dirty dishes. And then I'm going to sink my sink into the countertop and use two five-gallon buckets, one for fresh water, one for gray, and a marine foot pump. Right now I'm just using 
this, you know, like iced tea container thing with a spout to wash my dishes and my hands. These are the windows from inside. I have Reflectix that I used a pillowcase on the back side so it doesn't look like Reflectix from outside. And I either just take it down or roll it up and just snugs right in there. And these windows, the shed windows, come with screens already attached. And I had some leftover countertop, so I made some um, window sills. And I have the Alpi Cool 12 volt fridge, which I absolutely love. My Jackery Body works this about three days, sometimes four, depending on how often I go in and out of it. And I bought this chair so I can actually sit and, you know, I sit in the doorway or I sit here kind of like at a desk. I cover it with this because the cat keeps, you know, scratching it. And here's my Jackery. I like this, but I was not informed well enough to know that you're supposed to have two 100 watt panels. I only bought the one. So it does take quite a while for it to charge. So eventually when I have the money, I will pick up another one. Well, I do want to get solar on the top and not have to worry about that. I have one of these chests from Walmart. They're like 25 bucks. Um, again, I put some fake fur on it because the cat keeps scratching it. Uh, That's what I keep my clothes in. And right now, I'm using this tower fan to keep it cool in here, which it works great. And this screen, I got it always in Virginia. If anybody knows what that store is, um, it had three pieces to it. It's a room divider. As soon as I saw it, I knew what I was going to use it for. Um, right behind it is my cat box and my potty. So we share a bathroom. There's the cat box. And here's my potty. And I have my towels here and some clothes. And the third piece I took off and I screwed to the back of the bed because the cat would get down there on travel day and I couldn't get him out and then he'd growl and hiss at me. Or my chihuahua, the little one, fell down between the bed and the back door. So I'm laying in bed one day and I'm looking at that. I'm like, well, I have a third piece to that I had folded behind it. So I cut it a little bit, screwed it on there, and works great. This is my bed area. It's a four inch uh, memory foam. I got brand new at the ReStore. And I had that decal. I had flipped a couple pop-ups to make money, and this was one I had left. And I'm looking at it, I'm gonna go, I know where to put that right above my headboard, or it has my headboard, I guess. I did the tin ceiling, corrugated tin. I took black paint and wiped it on with a rag. Oop, let me get a better shot. And then I wiped it off with a rag so I get some of the silver coming through. And I really like it. I have a Dometic ceiling fan. Oop. Sorry about the spoon. When it gets windy, the ceiling fan goes up and out because the ceiling's not finished here. This is the part I have to finish. I used one inch foam board and I have regular curtains here from Dollar General on the door and on the back door and then I made my curtains for my bedroom window and my kitchen with excess and I have a TV and I had to have a shelf for the cat that's his place he sits in the window all day but this is it this is my humble home um, it's just the right size for me. It works great. I actually lay in bed in the morning and think how big it is inside. It looks so much bigger inside than it does from outside. Well, I hope you like it. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.